Episode 301 finds Rick incarcerated in a galactic federal prison. Federation is trying to get the formula for interdimensional travel out of Rick's brain. Rick, being one step ahead of them, takes him to his own past, which is actually a trap. What are you talking about? This is a memory. You, you can't alter details of a memory. True, but you can alter anything you want about a totally fabricated origin story. We really like the idea of Rick's backstory being a fake out, you know, and, and keeping his origins uh, shrouded in mystery. I don't think that backstory is necessary for the viewer uh, to enjoy a character. In, in fact, if you really wanted to deliberately sap a character of his or her appeal would be to just say, oh, this is how they became everything that they became. No! So we ended up getting the fun of telling a story that felt real. It would have been somewhat satisfying and then pulling the escape hatch on that because that's not the actual story we're telling about this specific Rick. The more we think we know, <laughs> the less we really do. Thank you, Conroy. You spoil us, Conroy. Grandpa Rick wouldn't put up with this. Stop saying his name. Summer idealizes Rick, but more importantly, she realizes that Rick represents more of the truth than the Federated Earth does. Summer, having not seen firsthand the consequences of Rick's adventures as Morty has, Morty has to actually take her back to one of the earliest adventures that he went on with Rick. I can't believe Rick did this. These are the parts of Rick's adventures you don't get to see, the parts he leaves behind. This is a reality that was not too different than yours, and Rick treated it as valuable as a disposable razor blade. Your mom wouldn't have accepted oh, me if I came home without you and your sister, so now you know the real reason I rescued you. Oh. I just took over the family, Morty. The reason we get away with Rick being such a selfish, sometimes vile character, I think is because his fish actually are bigger. I'm not driven by avenging my dead family, Morty. That was fake. I I I'm driven by finding that McNugget sauce. Rick is a hero sometimes in some context and a villain sometimes in others. The more important fact is that Rick, for better and for worse, has transcended concerns about when he's a hero and when he's a villain to whom. That's what's fun about watching him is you're never gonna know if you're agreeing with him or if he's a psycho. You want the guy to win. He's fucking cool and smart and funny, you know? Who's not gonna root for that?